Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a week or so ago, I posted a video that Microsoft is currently developing the next major version of Windows, codenamed Hudson Valley. And this is expected to ship later this year as version 24H2, as I have been posting, and also called the 2024 update. Now, if you want more info regarding version 24H2, I'll leave a playlist in the end screen of this video. But it was expected that Microsoft would end up calling this update Windows 12, as we've been looking at over the last year or so. But at this stage, that seems to be a rumor, and Microsoft are just going to call it a major Windows 11 update, expected to be 24H2, and I even said in the description of that video, which I'll leave down below, watch this space. Now, I have watched this space, and a little bit more information, once again, has come to light. And there are now hints that Microsoft seems to have not forgotten about Windows 12. And um, Microsoft's internal development branch um, are working, it is suggested, on the next version of Windows, which could be basically Windows 12, although not confirmed. Now, as many of you may know, um, the Insider program has different um, build numbers. So the latest Canary channel build is 26040. So the build starting with 26 currently are expected to be our next annual feature update for Windows 11, as mentioned, version 24H2. And then in the next um, month or so, end of uh, February into March, April, we are expecting to see the Moment 5 feature update rollout for Windows 11 23H2. And the difference between Moment updates and annual updates is that a Moment update um, does not uh, increase the version. It only increases the, uh, the point release on a build. And as mentioned, the annual feature update will bump that up from 23H2 to version 24H2. So now with that all out of the way, um, as many of you may know, although this is the official kind of cutting edge or bleeding edge hot off the presses build, as Microsoft calls it, um, not everything Microsoft works on is made public immediately. And as we've spoken about numerously on this channel, we get things like hidden features and so on. Now, as mentioned, um, there is a new internal branch that now apparently, according to Xeno Panther over on X, who is a Windows enthusiast, um, this new development branch has a build number of 27. So instead of 26, like we currently see in the Canary channel, which in effect could be 24H2, that has a, a build of 27. And this has been um, spotted as a higher build number and could indicate, although not confirmed, it could indicate that this is a much bigger upgrade than just another canary channel build that Microsoft will be rolling out for Windows 11 and it could well be Windows 12 with a build number of starting with 27 and the build number that has been spotted by Xeno over on X uh, in the development branch internally at Microsoft is 27547 so interesting stuff going on here yeah? and um, at this stage that is only available internally at Microsoft and it's going to be quite some time before um, insiders can expect to get um, a build rolling out with 27, starting with 27 um, to the actual insider program where they can start testing features. And um, as I've mentioned previously, Windows 12 is not expected to be released, if it is going to be released, until 2025 now. There's, um, this year, I think, is already taken care of. We are going to be getting the 24H2 feature update. It just does seem a little bit too soon now that the year's already kind of rolling on. So if Microsoft does roll out Windows 12, it could be expected to be released next year in 2025. And as mentioned, the big release um, for this year will be the annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2, which is going to be a major update. And as mentioned, playlists for Windows 12 and 24H2 will be in the end screen of this video if you would be interested. So interesting. Seems that uh, Microsoft may still be interested in rolling out Windows 12. And once again, watch the space because with Microsoft, as I've mentioned, only time will tell. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.